How do we print and ship over 300 personalized custom orders in a single day? We're about to look at the systems, organization, and processes that make that all possible. So come check out the print room. Hey everybody, welcome to the print room. So you pass through those uh, plastic sheets. That's to keep all the dust out because we keep all of our finished material in here and our printer as well. It just needs to be a very clean area. We have all our shipping supplies, all our finished product that we're actually gonna use to print. And one of the integral systems that we use to track like the hundreds and hundreds of items we have uh, in here is our Kanban system. And it basically is uh, like putting your inventory on autopilot. So everything that we have, whether it's a screw, a box, uh, a finished product that we make has like a minimum quantity assigned to it. And when we break into that minimum quantity, the card gets pulled and it goes to either a purchase board or a production board so that, and then we make those purchases at the end of the day and then production knows what they actually need to make. It's an important part of like the lean methodology of like running our business. It's not like a, some top down manager trying to manage all the inventory. Stuff only gets purchased when it's needed or it only gets produced when it's needed. There's like a, a lot more that could be said about, we could be like a whole video series in itself. So one of the important pieces of software use, we use is ShipStation. It's a kind of software as a service. And what it does is it brings in all our orders from the various platforms we sell on. So like Etsy, Amazon, Shopify, all our orders flow into one area. And this is kind of what we use as like an order list. So when our printer comes in for the day, this is the list of orders that they gotta get through and ship. We use Adobe Illustrator to set up all of our print files. All of these orders are personalized in some way. So it's either a photograph or it's changing, you know, some, some text on a design. And uh, up until a couple months ago, we would actually, one person was responsible for going order through order, setting up every individual design, whether it was cutting out a photo or adding the text and then saving the print file and then running the print file on our printer. That was a kind of a big bottleneck for us because basically it means that our printer isn't running for quite a long time while this file is being set up. So what we did is we separated the position into two roles and now we have one person responsible for print setup and one person responsible for the printing and the shipping. And the print setup position is actually uh, our employee John in the Philippines, and he works his regular nine to five hours that we work here, but it's, it's swapped, so he's, it's 12 hours time difference, so he's working from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. When our printer gets in in the morning, they have seven to eight different print files for, for our seven to eight different products that they can just start working through. And they do go through and proof each order, but it's not the full setup. And in proofing sense, we have two eyes on every order, so we've actually been able to reduce a lot of our mistakes as well. That's been really integral in increasing our order flow. Uh, our orders are up 65% from last year, and we still have just one person in the printing and shipping role on any given day. So this is our UV digital printer. We've got uh, baseballs set up to print right now, and that corresponds to the baseball print uh, file that we just set up. So that's 24 individual orders, and this will take really eight minutes to run. It's very quick. It's, we're, we're the bottleneck, not the printer. This is where we have kind of a symbiotic relationship between our CNC router and our printer. It's the same print bed size. So we actually built this print jig on our CNC router, we you know, were able to precisely locate all these dowel pins that we use to hold the baseballs. As another example, here's our utility knife print jig. This was also made using our CNC router, and then we import that same file we use to machine it into Illustrator, and we'll use that for our actual like print setup files. So not only do we make product with the CNC router, but we'll make all our print jigs as well. And makes it real quick to get orders out the door. So this is our shipping table. Everything comes off the printer, gets put here. Then we've got our stack of labels to start working through shipping out each individual order. You can see these are just a, a sample of some of our different products and they're all small. And we do that intentionally with our product development because we can you know, fit it in a simple, small you know, envelope packer. 
and ship it first class, which is gonna be anywhere from like 350 to five, six dollars, depending on where it's going and how much it weighs. Or we can pack it in one of our flat rate envelopes uh, if it's over a pound or if it's expedited and the customer's paying for the expedited shipping. And so we do that intentionally to keep the price down for our customer and, and ourselves as well, because we typically offer free shipping. That's just kind of what you gotta do these days to, to get customers. Keeping our products small, it, it, it cuts that cost down. For, the, for these flat rate FedEx, we're paying $8.75, and that's two-day express everywhere throughout the country. And that's actually a negotiated rate because we're sending out anywhere from 50 to 150 orders a day. So they want to get that business, so they're actually giving us price breaks from what you would pay like at a retail rate. If you do have the volume, you can pit UPS and FedEx against each other to, to get better rates. For USPS, you're really just gonna get your typical 15% off, the call commercial rate, if you're using something like stamps.com, ShipStation, or kind of those typical shipping providers. If Even if you're using like eBay or Etsy or Amazon to print your shipping label, you'll get that rate. All our materials here, so we can just grab quickly, ship quickly, and then we have additional material storage underneath, and then uh, a whole another shelf full of uh, boxes and everything in here. So again, we're not running around trying to find materials. It's all here so we can get stuff out quick. Thanks for watching the video. That's how we get hundreds of orders a day out. Uh, we're just getting over the Father's Day rush, so we're going to have a bit more time to be able to do uh, more content. So if there was something that piqued your interest, uh, leave us a comment. We're looking for more video ideas, but uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe. That's the best way to make sure that you uh, catch these types of videos. Thanks.